All right, so this count of Salerno. This is the obvious choice to get the Duchy of Salerno. I got a 30-year-old here. Oh, he's too far away to interact with. Who the fuck is he? Um, one of my nephews is on the northeast side of the map in Angara. The northeast corner of the entire map. One of my nephews is over there. Somehow. Oh, the Duke of Osfaden wants to join me. The Duke of what now? Where? Who? Is this just somewhere in... in... Yeah, oh, just, I see. Just to meet, uh, I see it. Yeah, Osfaden. Cool. Neat. Hey, you want to send me some gold? Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm also saving. Well, it's just for the title. Uh, I can send you 150. Yeah, that works. Yay, thank you. Oh, look, you lose some stress, too, because you're generous. See, isn't it nice being generous? I'm helping no, you. absolutely not. I'm helping you. Every time I take money, I add stress. Who the fuck do I give this shit to? I've lost so many of my fucking family members because they're all in France now. I don't know who to give all this land to. Yeah, I'm just kind of out of relatives i i've lost half of my relatives to france so i don't really have anybody super trustworthy to give this land to okay this guy's in my dynasty at least that's better than nothing but who are his heirs before i do this all just courtiers this is my niece marcia okay this will work this will this should work okay i think i'm ready Grant those, and there you go, and then I'm almost ready. If I usurp this duchy, which I still can't, well, because he's in a war. Well, for now, I'm just going to have a count until I can get the duchy. And also finish this fight, which we have won this fight, so that worked pretty well. I do still need to go besiege something. I don't think the location matters insanely. Uh, supply matters. We'll go up here. We have enough supply up here. Oh, the poor child king of Bavaria who is a twin only has one county. That is so sad. I can get a press claim on the Duchy of Tyrol, though. That's most of my piety, however, but it'll, it'll work. He'll accept this. He wasn't going to accept this before. I might as well get this now, then. Yeah, Duchy of Tyrol. The quest claim... I need a claim on this duchy up here as well, and I have a claim already on this county that is several wars with Bavaria, but they're far less well off than they ever have been. This war for one county with Bulgaria is going to be harder. I have a lot of war fighting to do. I'm going to be limited by this opinion. We already have minus nine due to offensive war. This is going to be a lifetime. With all the wars I need to fight, this is literally going to be like a lifetime of fighting for two more counties from the Byzantines, two counties from Bulgaria, and then like one county and two duchies from Bavaria. It's going to take like my whole life. What the hell? Prowess challenge. Oh, nice. I can get a artifact and money from having a lot of prowess, which I have because I have an illustrious armor and weapon. That's... Easy 290 gold. Nice. That's great. What's a lucky rabbit paw or whatever? What is that? Well, there it is. Two prowess and some prestige. Hmm. Is there anything I'd actually like to get rid of for that? Maybe a gemstone. I like the pilgrim's guide. Yeah, we'll just get rid of the gemstone. And literally destroy it for money. And then we can repair this. There you go. Holy god damn, that's a lot of Vikings in your land. Yeah. I can't take them. Oh, some of these invaders over here in the completely separate war have been intercepted by my allies while I went ahead and started a new siege. Our food could be better. I didn't stop to get any more food. I was just kind of hoping we had enough. Ooh, Galicia has called my knights against, I assume, Al Andalus? Yep, Al Andalus is attacking. I wonder if they have anything special. I doubt it. I mean, maybe. There's not. I don't know if there's really a way to check. <laughs> In what way? To see if there's any Muslim holy orders. The Muslim head of faith is the leader of the Arabian Empire. Wow, playing Muslims will be different just because of that. When we finally do that. Yeah, they start as the leader of the Abbasids. 
Makes sense, yeah. Well, I experienced is that the Muslims also have a different kind of tax system. The leader of the Islid Emirate down here wants to pay- Holy shit! The leader of the Islid Emirate down in Africa, which is this tiny little Muslim place, is so terrified of me, he's gonna pay me 500 gold for a truce. That is amazing. He does. He has. He only has 121. How is he gonna pay me 500? <laughs> He's going in the minus. He's going in the minus while being infirm, irritable, reclusive, and just on the verge of death generally. Stress level two as well, by the way. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's. It's. I think it's just me and him. I don't even think it's the nation I get the truce with. Either way, I wasn't planning on attacking them. I have a different goal. So yeah, 500 money from some dirty Muslims. Easy, man. 15 years of no attacking them? Easy. That doesn't stop my vassals from attacking. I think you don't need my money, by the way. <laughs> well, I didn't know how much money I'd get in a couple moments. It's yeah, it's crazy how this system works. Then you it, get really a lot of money and then you get nothing. Yeah. Um, well, that's fine. You're, you're helping pay off the penalties of your actions. It's okay. Also, I still can't usurp it. I'm still waiting. My actions? Your actions of invading France and pulling me into your nonsense. How could I? I still love the Duchy of Calabria is still over there. I can't usurp it yet because he's um because he's in my war. So I can't usurp it until he's out of this war. The Byzant whoever is in charge of the Byzantine Empire always wants to marry one of my who even is this one? It's a member of my dynasty, but it's a courtier. It's it's decently far away i'm not doing that they, they keep trying to marry into my family but like taking it's not matrilineal right it's not in my favor all right i'm gonna send you a marriage proposal or uh, i guess this guy is in your family or something but i'm also related to him but he has good traits he doesn't have any titles i don't think he's important yeah wait i'm looking for a new tradition oh i see she's related to my wife or he, he's related to my wife, the guy that I'm looking at. All right, well, I'll send you something. You tell me if that's not a problem. Oh, I'm at war with the Byzantine Empire now. They've, what? They've just taken over in this war somehow. Oh well, yeah, this guy has an alliance. What? Oh. Oh, the, the king of Bulgaria or something has... Oh, what the hell? Whoever was fighting for that claim to take the Byzantines, whatever Bulgarian was doing that, he finally won. All of Bulgaria didn't take, uh, take it, just one guy, but that drags the Byzantines into my war. But why will the children be of your family and not mine? If you don't want to accept it, then don't accept it. I'm just looking for someone to bring traits in. I'm also holding those traits. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Uh, we're one big family anyway. You have more members than me. That's been like that since the first lifetime. My, I've just been having... I, I, I've just been having my family have more kids for some reason. Yeah, that's because you had the, the bonus of your first ruler. The, the, uh, the pure blood of trade. Fertility uh, 10 plus 10%. You, but no, because Alfred had more kids than he did. It's the other family members that are kind of propping it up. Yeah. And this is my second ruler that has pure-blooded, but he's only had one kid. In the time where my first ruler had like three. I'm also not paying very much attention to this marriages. I am. Oh shit. That Duke of Barcelona has been excommunicated. That's good. That's good, yeah. Well, I want a siege. That's done. I'm at 91% now. There's some Byzantines showing up now. Hmm. Uh. What all am I at war with anyway? This counts as being at war. Oh man, the supply here is so low. What happened to my duchy? Where'd it go? I guess that war ended and maybe somebody took it over. The duchy of Mac Makava, Makava, this one. The duchy has gone. Well, I can create it again. It just beat up whoever had it before. Is there a count I can give it to? Not at the moment, no. Yeah, there's too many dukes over here. They were like fighting each other or something. This guy is weaker than the rest. This one right here. He has a special contract though. So maybe I don't even want to promote him, but there's only really two choices on who to give this to. Alexi or Mamchil. 
Does Mom Chill have a special contract? No, he does not. All right, well, I'll just give him that other duchy and just have him love me and maybe he'll convert. Maybe. If Catholics win the area, that's good, I suppose. And he has converted. Nice. All right, I can ransom this chick away. A lot of ransoming I can do. Again, a lot of stress if I imprison the Duke of Barcelona, but... Ugh. I'm gonna do it anyway, because I could change his contract if I do that. Ransom this guy off for 50. There you go. I'm just heading over to the border, yet we're still gonna run into some enemies. We're gonna win this shortly, just from the war score on the target. Alright, he's behind bars now. I'm sure he could just buy his way out. But I can also let him out with a hook. I let him out with a hook... And then theoretically, I could change this. I'm afraid it's still going to count as an act of tyranny, even if I have a hook. That's that's what makes me nervous. With this game, you never know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna take the hook and then hope that it works the way that I think it works. Also, I can hold court. I feel like I held court fairly recently, so I am kind of surprised by this. Okay, let's hear the petitioners. There's some Muslim spy here for the Byzantines? That's weird, but I'll just imprison him. Next one is a duke. Some of my knights led by a baron pass through his land, looting, pillaging, return with your plunder. Punish troublemakers, knight effectiveness reduction. He pays money. Or I could just pay him myself. Um, no, I'm just gonna punish the troublemaker. And let's see, Chancellor pulls me aside. There'll be somebody attending your court. He wants to increase the, the dress. I never forget a face. Yeah, 100% diplomacy challenge. Easy peasy. Yeah, with a hook, I can raise his taxes without it being an act of tyranny. So, get his taxes back up to normal then, using that hook. And we're also going to assign him, because he's my best powerful vassal choice, as my spy master. Are we doing anything right now? No, we're not. Maybe I sway him a little bit to make sure he stays loyal. I raised my stress by doing what I did, but it is what it is. Oh my god, there's so many things happening. What the hell? Magnilla. I remember this when this girl was a, a child. Oh, it's this one. Grown to such a remarkable imperator. You no longer need me. It's time to depart. Leave you. I can lose imaginary friend if I keep her. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no. Oh, I'm losing my imaginary friend. Only now. Yeah, only now I'm starting to lose my imaginary friend. And so I can either, like... <laughs> and to make up for it, I can become best friends with some 51-year-old insane guy. Or I can fuck the girl that I was gonna have marry the guy from you. Well, that's confusing as fuck now, isn't it? And that best friend, quote-unquote, that 51-year-old, he's in India! I... <laughs> Why would I want a best friend in India? But why would I want... I don't... What is this? I'm not losing my best friend as in... I, my imaginary friend as in like, oh, I realize my imaginary friend like doesn't exist. I'm losing my imaginary friend as in... My imaginary friend said she's going away somewhere. So she's, she's like leaving. Like a guardian leaving you. I think I'm going to do the sinful thing because I don't want to get a bunch of stress when... Uh, a 51-year-old best friend in India dies. I'd rather deal with the consequences of cheating on my wife. I don't know why I need to do either of these things, but that's what the game says I need to do. Well, this war has 1% left. I don't think I really need to do anything. I think it's just going to add up no matter what at this point. My allies are starting their own sieges, but I don't think I really need to do that. And there's this other one going on. The Frenchies are fighting in. Oh, I can't even tell what the fuck's- I think the Frenchies are losing. Yeah. Yeah, King Rosola is not long for this world, because he relies on me to really win this, and he's not gonna have me. So, alright, that's done. All that for a fucking county. Absolutely insane. Alright, let's disband all these. It's not like they could run up there too quickly anyway. I can, I have money. I could do a, a couple things here. Oh, wait, also I have an extra county now. I don't need this county for myself. I just needed this county in general. This county is part of the duchy of this place. Oh, so I will grant you 
that because that, that goes in your land. So I could just grant it to this weaker duke just to just to spread things out. You know, I think I will. Yeah, I'll grant this to you just to spread things out. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't seem like interference in any way. I can now usurp the Duchy of Calabria. That's 250. Usurp that. There you go. I now have the Duchy of Calabria, which I can give to my count that I gave all that stuff to. Duchy of Calabria, there you go. You are now a duke. All that is figured out. I have some extra money and a need to do a lot of things. Number one, we can't go into any more offensive wars because we have minus 16 debuff. I could do with another pilgrimage, quite frankly. I could really do with another pilgrimage. I think Jerusalem's a pretty good target. It's quite far away. It's unique and unvisited. I didn't go there the last time. I would need an experienced captain, but then, like, that's about it. Learning XP. It's too dangerous over here to do any other visits. It's just a sail, right? It's very direct because you sail there. So there's no need to go really out of the way or anything. I can slow this down and spend an absolute fuck ton of money on this pilgrimage to ensure I get a fuck ton of piety, which I do need to, number one, potentially ask for more money. And then, number two... Um, also, make more claims. So, while this is most of my money, I am just going to do this. Also, altruism. And we're going to go at a slower pace now that we can do that, because we are a pilgrim after going here first. This is going to be a very long journey, but it's going to be worth it. I'm going to Jerusalem, baby! Never went there. I haven't been to Santiago either. Oh, great. The new... The King of Bavaria is a dwarf. <laughs> He's a dwarf. Family for, for Rift. No, this is a this is Carling. He's a Carling. He's a Dwarf Carling. Doesn't mean it didn't come from Rift, but that wasn't actually a Dwarf trait. Let's see, I can go down this path. Children receive extra skill points. I can't find Rift family anymore. I'm sure one of them is still out there somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Offer vassalization acceptance. That would be pretty great. Hmm. Yeah, let's go down this path. Oh, yeah, I can ask my head of faith for gold. Perfect timing. That's a fuck ton of money. It's barely any uh, piety. And it pays for my entire pilgrimage, basically. Just about what I paid to go on this pilgrimage. That was like all his money. It's starting to add up to be so much. We should hopefully get a fuck ton of piety on this pilgrimage now to make up for that. And this means I can also invest more into this stuff. See, I don't know what to do about these onagers. Now, naturally, I'm going to upgrade them we have them i don't know if i should invest into more onagers though because we're gonna get mangonels probably who well in this lifetime for sure in this lifetime i don't know after that we're in uh, jerusalem by the way just getting events more pious potentially local expert potentially uh nothing happens well potentially getting diplomacy yeah combined challenge i'll go for that we have like eight years until we get our next tech in tribal, and then we're going to go for the mangonel. So these are going to happen pretty soon. So I don't know if I should invest in more right now or what. They're effective up to fort level 10. I would like it if I ever need to like split my group up that we have mangonels in each group, but I usually don't split up men at arms ever. You should kind of raise them as their own thing. So I feel like what might work better is to double down on something that I'm actually really good with, such as cataphracts. Though that is very expensive, and I need to upgrade everything else first. So I'm really unsure what to actually do about that in the long run. First thing to do is to upgrade anything that can be upgraded to 5, or in the case of Armored Footman, 7. I have this money sitting around, so we will increase the pikemen. Look how laggy it is. Oh my god. This, this is so laggy. Some update they did with the DLC apparently made this happen. That was cheap enough. We can upgrade the Armored Footman as well. It's pricey, but it's cheap enough. We could upgrade the cataphracts as well. This is super expensive to do. Getting more cataphracts would be even crazier. Yeah, that's a lot of money. So it's either going to be more onagers, which are going to essentially be disposable. Two onager groups would add up to one mangano, basically. Or just getting another cataphract right now, knowing the onagers will get replaced soonish. Hey, in early medieval, you can get armored horsemen. This seems to be the generic version of my cataphracts. Yeah, I'm focused on something else first. All right, I'm already done with Jerusalem, and we're going back. Oh God, what is all this crap? Travel, first dangerous want, interest. Uh, want the battlements? Uh, room for debate. Sure, whatever. We'll do that. 
Yeah, that's done. Yeah, that's a lot of piety. I just noticed Chronicle writing, you could press several claims in a single war. That sounds awesome. I don't think I've ever played far enough into the game to be able to see that, considering this is only my second playthrough. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Seems very handy. You could do multiple county wars at once, instead of just one at a time like I'm doing right now. Hmm, piety, but stress. If I condemn this guy, he won't be very happy. Become my rival, stay silent, that's fine enough, it's and less stress. Evils, I don't want to defend him. Cannons, bombards. Yeah, yeah. All everything just slowly gets better. And crossbowmen. See, crossbowmen are in high medieval, but my holy order has crossbowmen after they got turned to being led by a French guy. So they already have crossbowmen. Despite that we're not in high medieval, and I think high medieval doesn't start until what, 1200? I think 1200? Uh, 1050. 1050. The other one's 1200. Late medieval. Yeah, so we're still over 100 years away from entering that, and they already have crossbows, which is quite interesting. It's no cataphracts, but I'll take it. I also saw something evil in, uh, in a YouTube video. If you want to kill out a rival family, when you have a, a child of something with smallpox, you just marry him. So the, the whole family got smallpox. That's definitely a way to do something like that, yeah. The Byzantines are in so many different wars. They're winning a liberty war up there. There's a Duchy of Bulgaria claim that they're not doing too well in. Someone is trying to claim the Byzantine Empire and winning. Oh boy. And there's a peasant revolt. So this is actually the perfect time to go to war with the Byzantines, clearly. However, we still have minus eight on the offensive war bonus, so I might give it a little bit longer before we do that. However, it won't be a difficult war. We just go for like this, for example. We gotta wait another war to do this. And I still have this pressed claim up here. Uh, the Kingdom of France was taken over by Queen Marie. It was lost by the King Rosola. <laughs> It's House of Landerin. These guys keep tr going back and forth trying to get this. Holy shit, I can make the Holy Roman Empire right now. That would not be smart, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, no. Because it's princely elective, and I don't want to suddenly be running a princely elective anything. So no, but it's cool to know that I am able to do that. If I do a Holy Roman Empire playthrough, I want that shit to be some sort of co-op playthrough. Because I think that would be neat. I feel like running one nation co-op is far more seamless than running multiple because you guys can just grant each other land over and over just kind of figure things out store uh, power in player vassals that you have romagna doesn't exist uh, i take okay. over the kingdom of france i also can uh make the roman empire mm. oh no i need three kingdom titles yeah this is why you don't give all your stuff away the game doesn't even expect you to be doing this yeah for the HRE. This is a weird fucking count. He owns very weird amounts of stuff. This duke owns a lot. Oh my god. Oh, she's powerful. Holy shit. Drunkard. Why am I going to be a drunkard? No. Fuck that. I'd rather be stressed than a drunkard. I'll go ahead and make the Duchy of Romagna again. Don't know why this keeps happening. But whatever. And then Flavio, I remember you. Your dad was a pain in my ass. Give you the Duchy of Romagna. There you go. Oh my god. I think you might... What? Oh Jesus Christ, I think you're about to get Aquitaine without trying. Yeah? Yeah, the leader of Lotharingia just took it for you. Yep, there it is. Oh wow. Yep. Well, there goes um France. <laughs> you have 194 counties. And uh, the kingdom of Lotharingia is now a dual kingdom, technically. Yeah. Well, that'll probably get split up eventually. All right. After enough deletions, this is very much working out for you. And even though I lost the twins, it looks like the rest of their family has moved back into my territory. Now, just as a question of can I hold all of this? Uh, I'd be amazed if you couldn't. You just... St make it make sure so many kings don't decide to turn on you i guess all right i'm yeah. gonna do this war this is going too fast to just blaze through it what is this a little language do your best pay money learning challenge you might gain stress pay a lot of money and she'll learn a language or get angry 
That one's easy enough. Ooh, I don't want her getting stressed. She's my heir. She's my only child, so... Yeah, I'll pay the full amount. Fuck it. Yeah, a king... This is why... <laughs> This is why I love having vassals only able to attack outwards, because they just expand your empire for you. I could do entire battles over counties, and then they just end up getting me a new kingdom. Alright, so we are going to declare this war right here. Which means I need this, not this. And so we will raise our men-at-arms. That's all we can raise, no holy orders. And that same woman from Lotharangia also has a, uh, a claim on the uh, Kingdom of Fresia. Wow, she's gonna end up owning half your shit at this rate. Yeah. And call in allies. Do I need to? Probably not. Would they be helpful? Yeah, probably. A lot of these are in France. Huh. Alright, well. It's just prestige to call them, so let's go ahead and call them. It's better than nothing. I'll go do something productive, probably, anyway. I didn't even realize I had fully upgraded everything to, like, the proper sizes that I can accomplish. Yeah, Bulgaria joined, so it's a big war that I'm in now, and they might come fight me. The Allies can take care of everything that I'm not taking care of. They'll maybe end up in the correct place eventually. The House Vlanderen is actually in charge of France and Lotharing. Basically, every kingdom you have on the mainland, one house is in control of all of it. Well, my lover is a fornicator. I'm going to pardon her, because I bet I know why she's a fornicator. <laughs> we're doing a pretty decent job at unifying the Catholic world. Like, between us, I think we're most of the Catholic world at this point. We're probably, like, three-fourths of the Catholic world at this point. And we're probably, at this rate, we're going to end up being basically the entire Catholic world. Goal was to wage war against other, other religions, but... <laughs> We well, it's a, decent, it's a decent start, yeah. We're, we're becoming the Catholic world. And after we are the Catholic world, we can destroy the other worlds. I mean, we're getting close to... We're getting closer and closer to the point of Crusades. Right now, we're establishing our power. Like, my main thing right now is I want that Unify Italy decision uh, more than anything. Once I've unified Italy, I can expand my single empire because right now, every most of what I have would fall into one big empire and it would just be New Rome. And that would make being the de jure leader of things a lot easier. Yeah. I don't think either of us are making Francia because we both own too much slash too little of it to actually uh, form that. So that empire is not getting formed. I feel like you'll probably end up making Germania eventually. I don't know, it's a whole different king of empire, though. Yeah, been invited to a hunt. You must leave in four months. Also, a grand tournament that I cannot get to in time. A hunt, where is it? Just up here? That's not bad. Just get my mountaineers and we'll be off. 16? Yeah, that's fine. I'm not needed. I'm not a war king or anything. Damn, what's the fucking supply here if they're joining me? It's good enough. Alright, well, this will go pretty well. I'll go for that next. I imagine they're running around here. No, they're really not. Oh, well, that's good. So we'll win this war, eventually. We'll take what I'm going for, and then we need another war with Bulgaria. We need multiple with Bavaria. I have the claim. It's pressed, so I'm not as worried about it. I'd rather go for this county first, because this is unpressed. I'll be able to do another holy war for a kingdom eventually, and that's probably going to end up being against the Arabian Empire. Just to expand in Africa some more. I just need to do these other things first. I'm already 28 though. Damn. I don't yeah, think this uh, this British lady is not going to be giving me more than one child. She's only giving me a daughter and that's it. Good thing I'm cheating. Yeah.